Hi everyone, Brian from Vapor Nation, and today I got a quick overview for you, or first look I guess, since I'm not going to be doing a review until I've had at least a month or so to really break in this device, but I have the um, Paragon V2 Limited Midnight Edition Authentic Mech Mod here, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. So first it is a 18650 mech mod. I haven't seen it anything other than 18650. Made in the USA. Uh, price range for this is a little high. Um, probably for authentics maybe on the average side but it's 190 bucks. And it is made of copper with a real carbon fiber overwrap and black chrome plated button and top cap. So if I can get this magma off of here, which never wants to come off, I gotta take it off this way because the threads on this, I will say, are very, very smooth to the point where the top cap unscrews before I can get the atomizer out. So I don't know if that just says that these are smoother than the threads in here or what. But Addies are a pain to switch on and off of this device, which, holy crap, if I can get it off. I was about to say it's not a big deal, but I guess if you can't get it off, <laughs> it is. Because um, when you put on a new device, you're probably going to have to adjust anyway, so. I guess it helps you get your top cap off, and a lot of devices, like my Copper Nemesis, for instance, are a pain to get the top caps off. So I end up adjusting it from the inside middle. But anyways, getting a little off topic here. See if I can put this away. And this is the uh, Tobacco Magma clone on here that I'm not going to do a review of because it's been around for a while now. Everyone's probably seen it and heard of the Magma. Anyways, so I'm going to get this off. button on the other hand is a different story there we go the lock ring threads everything else everything's pretty smooth once I break it loose but it seems to get pretty tight so anyways here's the tube as you can see inside that is copper and I don't know how well you guys can see that but that is a pretty thick carbon fiber over wrap there now the carbon fiber serves two purposes one it looks awesome and like I said this is real carbon fiber I believe it's a dry carbon fiber it doesn't look like it's got a clear coat over it my camera probably really sucks at picking that up and since it is real carbon fiber there is a seam if I can find it here uh, it seems pretty hard to find oh there it is so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little seam in the carbon fiber. Just a little one. You, I had to really look for it to find it. But anyway, so the other purpose this serves besides obviously for aesthetics, it keeps the device from getting hot. It, you know, the metal and everything when it's heating up, it's gonna get hot on you. Carbon fiber kind of absorbs that heat, so when you're using it constantly, chain vaping at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 ohms, your tire mod's not going to get hot on you. Top cap still might, the button probably won't, but at least the whole thing won't. And it also makes it a little lighter, because you can see that copper in there is pretty thin, and carbon fiber is a very, very lightweight material. And... On top of being lightweight, it is also one of the strongest materials, being as it is metal fibers. Um, it's used in automotive industry, a lot of other things for weight reduction and strength. And being into cars, I have a, quite a bit of experience with seeing carbon fiber. And I've seen some good carbon fiber, I've seen some bad carbon fiber, and this one is definitely... A good looking wrap on there. 
and the camera doesn't really do justice. Even when I take really good pictures with my good camera, it still doesn't do it justice. It looks a million times better in person. I'll go ahead and give you guys that. Um, the button. Now, the newer ones are black chrome plated. The original ones were iridium. The reason why they switched that was because the um, iridium was rubbing off too fast. So they switched it to a black chrome. Um, it looks identical. You can't really tell the difference between the two. Um, it's just longer durability. Once again, I've only had this for a couple days now, so I can't really tell you. Obviously, it still looks brand new. Um, the button has a sextant on it. Is their logo. No serial number. Um, it is limited edition. I don't know what that means. That could just be their way of saying that it's limited, but <laughs> for all we know, they could be making unlimited of these because the fact that there's no serial number. Uh, made in the USA. Um, copper, silver plated connections there. Uh, I'm not going to take this apart. I have seen the inside. There's a little uh, spring that runs about the length of this that is silver plated. I don't know the material inside. It may be copper to stainless, but it is silver plated for conductivity. Obviously, that's not going to be wearing off because it doesn't have that much contact other than how much you're using it. Um, the locking ring. Go ahead and put this back on the device, make it a little easier. And I don't know, this, I haven't tested this yet, but apparently you can use the button and the top cap on either side of the device and it'll work. Or the tube, rather. Alright. So the locking ring is right here. It does have a flush mounted button. Um, it protrudes just a tiny bit, but when you set it down, um, it's not enough to fire it. Um, you can see the pull on it is pretty light, really easy to press. Um, if you did have it unlocked in your pocket or something, something could easily fire that. But it does have a reverse threaded lock-in ring, so turn it to the right to lock it, turn it to the left to unlock it. And when it's turned, not only is that button laid in there, it also will not press at all. So you have nothing to worry about once this is locked. Um, the top cap is also black chrome plated. Um, let's see, I don't see any wear or anything yet. Threads are really smooth. You have a little hole here in the top cap. So I'm pointing at the right spot. And that hole is not for airflow, as you can see on the top. There's no airflow coming to it, so you're only going to be able to use this with devices that produce their own airflow. Um, obviously, if you're spending $190 on a mod, you're probably into drippers and RBAs, so it's not a big deal there. But that hole, anyways, is for battery venting. Now, the original one, before they switched over to the black chrome, had a hole in the carbon fiber for battery venting which looked a little tacky because carbon fiber once you drill a hole in it it's got all that just uh, never looks as clean as it could be so they added this little hole here looks pretty clean so your battery can still vent i think just by looking at what i've seen it looks like this hole is bigger than uh, the one that was drilled through the carbon fiber wrap itself um silver plated copper contacts here the dual adjustment now this you can tighten in or out but it is also apparently floating so if I take a device like this magma here and screw it in if I go to where you guys can see it you can see it'll move out on its own all right so it's floating and this one is different than most that I've seen uh, most of the floating ones that I've seen, it's just solid, and this, you know, pops in and out. This one is thread. It's very. It's a very like a micro thread, I would call it. And basically, um, it prevents it from 
what's happening is when this comes and makes contact with that, it's causing enough pressure to thread this around. So you can't just grab this and pull it off. I probably could if I really pulled, but I'd rip the inside threads in there. So it is floating, even though it's got threads. It just kind of threads itself. And you'll notice a lot of times, too, when you take your atomizer off, that this will screw all the way back in from the contact that's made in there. And then you have this to adjust for battery rattle, which I probably just screwed everything up now. So we'll go ahead and take a couple of vapes on it. Uh, this battery isn't fully charged. I don't have any fully charged batteries right now because I was working yesterday and ran through quite a bunch of them. And that's not set right. No, yes it is. Alright, make sure my magma after screwing around with it so much is Big vape on it for you guys, and yeah, so um, the only downsides to this um, is it is a pain in the ass to get the atomizer off of the top cap. Um, once you get it off, uh, sometimes the button. Threads will get stuck every now and then. Um, it does have a spring button, which a lot of people don't like. For me, it's not a big deal. I mean, this device hits hard enough. Definitely hits harder than my all copper nemesis. You know, I don't have too much compared to. You know, I've I've vaped on a lot of stuff. I don't own a lot of stuff though. But um, it's got a really short throw, really easy throw, which I personally like. Some people like a short throw that's more stiff. Um, and unless this spring actually wears down to where it's just not usable or it's getting difficult to use, um, I don't really see the spring as a downfall. Now, some people really only like mods with magnets in it, so that's up to you. Um, lock and ring threads are pretty smooth. It is long threads, though. I mean, that's locked. Locked is the way down here, but... The threads are smooth enough to where I can get it with like three good flicks. Um, I can't really think of anything else. I don't like the fact that they're not serialized um, for an authentic. It's kind of annoying. Um, but then again, I guess this could be like numbered 5,000 off the line. I, at that point, if it's serialized, I don't care. <laughs> you know, only if it's under like a thousand or couple hundred am I really going to care about the serial number anyways so I guess that doesn't matter as much unless we come to find out later down the line that they're not serializing them because they're going well over 10,000 and there's you know in a year or two everyone has this because this is the one authentic that they have enough of for everyone to get so but other than that and that's only from like a collector standpoint. If you're just a vapor, you're not going to care that how many people have this device, you know. Only if you're collecting them. And that, and there's already been talk about Infinite cloning it. Um, one or two other companies plan on cloning it. Now, whether it's going to be real carbon fiber or not, I doubt it. But it will be cloned, and you'll see a lot more of these around. So, anyways, until next time, have a good day, and see you next time.